He's about to sort of do a, a deal with Claw. Uh, he then sees that half of Wakanda are in the room, um, including T'Challa. And so he's thinking, okay, what are they doing here? All these people that he's got with him are pretty tasty. They've not come to talk, they've come for potential business. Mm -hmm. um, which puts a spanner in the works for Everett straight away. Because like, it's, it's enough dealing with a lunatic like Claw than to deal with someone who's, who, like T'Challa is his ally, right. theoretically, but it's not like they're best buddies. Correct. And he's still a pretty loose cannon, as far as Everett's concerned. Um, so uh, from Everett's point of view, he is now in the middle of something that could go off very badly and indeed does go off very bad. Wakanda wouldn't exist in the same way without that metal, you know, without that material, in the, in the way that other cultures have iron ore or gold or diamonds, you know, for Wakanda it's, it's that that is, and the rest of the world, well, anyone else who knows about it wants it, you know, but the rest of the world doesn't know about it, generally speaking, you know, because it's because of the way Wakanda has kept to itself and been very insular. Um, it's the best kept secret in the world. But of course, to people like Everett Ross, it's of great interest, you know, and given that I'm a white American in this very closed African country, I'm seen understandably with some suspicion yeah. because I'm, I work for the most powerful country in the world and a country that I guess, you know, is not, it's not unknown for it to stick its nose in people's <laughs> business, you know, as, as, as powerful countries do. Uh, so that, yeah, understandably, there is resistance to my presence in Wakanda, yeah. The aesthetics on this film and the visuals on this film are, have been incredible and a real pleasure to watch, actually, and a pleasure to wear the stuff. But, um, obviously, you know, Everett Ross doesn't wear the most outlandish gear in the film. Uh, there are people who have, you know, pushing the boat out a little bit more than he is. But just, to, yeah, just to look at what people are wearing, Look at the hair, look at the makeup, look at the sort of the scarification, the sort of the, the ornaments on people's faces and in ears. You know, it's, um, it's, it's pretty amazing. He directs me anyway, in quite an economical way. Um, I think he's a man of as many words as need to be said. And I think I am as well, you know, like, so with, I, I, what I feel it with him is I feel a shorthand with him. And, and I felt that um, from the get-go. And I enjoyed that. And I like that about working with him. Because I don't feel we need to go too far around the houses to get to where we want to be. And, and I like the fact that we are, I think, yeah, we, I feel like we really trust each other. Mm -hmm. And it's a thing that builds, you know, he does that, I do that, he does it, you know, so it's... Um, it feels like it's being built then and there in the moment, and I, I really like that.